A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Chapter 5 If the buyer becomes bankrupt and the seller finds the goods sold to the buyer intact, he can take it back. Hadith 1005 Narrated Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said If a man finds his very things with a bankrupt person, he has more right to take them back than anyone else. Chapter 6 Superiority of Giving Respite to the One Who Is in Hard Circumstances Hadith 1006 Narrated, hu- narrated Huzaifa radiallahu anhu The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Before your time, the angels took the soul of a man and asked him Did you do any good deeds in your life? He replied, I used to order my employees to grant time to the rich person to pay his debts at his convenience and excuse the one in hard circumstances. So Allah Ta'ala said to the angels, Excuse him. Hadith 1007 Narrated Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There there was a merchant who used to lend to the people, and whenever his debtor was in straitened circumstances, he would say to his employees, Forgive him, so that Allah Ta'ala may forgive us. So Allah Ta'ala forgave him. Chapter 7 It is prohibited for a wealthy man to make delay in the payment of debts and the desirability of a reference that is transference of a debt from one person to another, al hawala and it is better for the wealthy man to accept when reference is made to him. Narrated Abu Huraira radiallahu an, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Procrastination that is delaying in paying debts by a wealthy man is injustice. So if your debt is transferred from your debtor to a rich debtor, you should agree. Chapter 8, The Prohibition of the Sale of Excess Water Narrated Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Do not withhold the superfluous water, for that will prevent people from grazing their cattle. Chapter 9, Prohibition of Taking the Price of a Dog The Earning of a Soothsayer and the Money Earned by Prostitution Hadith 1010 Narrated Abu Mas'ud al-Ansari radiallahu anhu Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbade taking the price of a dog, money earned by prostitution and the earnings of a soothsayer. Chapter 10 The Order of Killing Dogs Hadith 1011 Narrated Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhumah Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered that the dogs should be killed. As a note to this hadith, the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam thought that this order was concerned with rabid dogs. Religious scholars differ as to whether harmless dogs are included in this command or not. Hadith 1012 Narrated Ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever keeps a pet dog which is neither a watchdog nor a hunting dog will get a daily deduction of two qirat from his good deeds. Narrated Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever keeps a dog, one qirat of the reward of his good deeds is deducted daily unless the dog is used for guarding a farm or cattle. This was Hadith 1013. Hadith 1014. Narrated Abu Sufyan ibn Abu Zuhair, a man from Azd Shanua, and one of the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I heard Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, If one keeps a dog which is neither used for guarding a farm nor cattle, will get a daily deduction of one qirat from his good deeds. I said, did you hear this from Allah's messenger? He said, yes, by the Lord of this mosque.